Hey everyone, it's Sunglass Rob from SportRx and I'm here with my friend Richie Schley, uh, free rider, Hall of Fame, mountain biker. How are you doing today? I'm good, man. We are here to give our top picks for 2018 mountain biking sunglasses. So we have a video also out there on like how to pick the right mountain bike frames, what, what the elements, what the ingredients are, what to look for in the right pair of mountain bike frames. So you're super welcome to check out that video as well. But here we have kind of our best picks for mountain bike glasses. And uh, I think I'm just gonna start with my favorite pair right now. So these are the Oakley Cross Range XL. What I love about this frame is that it doesn't look so sporty. Uh, but you're not compromising any sport function. So this is like my go-to pair right now. I just kind of love them. They have this nose grip right here. Uh, it's a matte frame. Actually, these come with two temples. You can have a sportier frame or a dressier temple. I actually ride with the dressier temple because it's matte and it just totally stays in place. And it's got Prism Trail, which is an unbelievable lens technology. So this is like my personal favorite pair right now. And they have my prescription. Cool. So I kinda, I kinda like these. Um, while we're on the Oakley topic, why don't we just kinda round off with some more Oakleys. This is the Jawbreaker, also really popular for road riding. What I love about these for mountain biking is I mean, it's like eye armor. There is nothing coming in here. This is my night riding pair. They do, they are vented, which is really cool. Even with my, this is like a kind of a cool, crazy embedded prescription program that you have to have for these because it's a, a shield design. So that's how you get it in prescription. Um, but what I like about these for my night riding pair is it's, all, it's already a dangerous sport. Night riding could be a, even a little bit more dangerous. Um, so I really like the extra protection and like they almost feel like goggles in a way. So that's pretty cool. And then the venting helps with the body. Yeah. Uh, and then actually our best selling, oh, I did that on purpose. Uh, our best selling uh, Oakley frame for mountain biking and just about everything is the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. It's yeah. just a clean pair. They're vented on the bottom. You're getting some airflow. They fit almost every head size. How do they feel? No, they feel great. It feels like just enough snugness. The nose piece, I mean, there's nothing that seems like you can rattle them loose other than your face contacting the dirt, really. Uh, but, which never happens, right, Richard? <laughs> Rarely. I went over the handlebars. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I did too. My, my, <laughs> my elbow pads work. <laughs> yeah, those are really nice. Yeah, so that's kind of rounds it up for the Oakley collection. Why don't we jump into some Jilbo's? Jilbo does some really rad stuff. So a lot of people haven't heard about Jilbo in the US. In France, they're huge. They kind of started off, well, they didn't kind of, they did. They were. They are the leader in mountaineering eyewear. So if you're doing an expedition up uh, Everest, almost everybody wears Jilbo's. That's right. what their uh, thing is. But they've actually made a big push in mountain biking and in uh, trail running. And one of the things that Jilbo does really well is uh, lens technology. They use a really cool photochromatic option. So these lenses uh, start off this light, but actually get pretty dark when you need them to. So, and you love the photochromatic, right? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the photochromatic and this actual particular pair of Jilbo's I, I like a lot. That's the Renegade. The Renegade. Yeah. Because I feel like I could be on a ride and then I could pull over and be hanging out and no one would know that there was a bike near me if it wasn't near me. Yeah. yeah it looked cool just chilling. Right? Yeah, they're just, they're like kind of more everyday glasses yeah. where that's the Renegade. This is the Aero Speed. So if you want zero compromise, lightest thing in the world, um, maybe more if you're a cross country racer, you need all this coverage. Well, then you're going to look a little superhero y, but you kind of are a superhero. So might as well rock right. it. Yeah. Um, but this, the Aero Speed is just unbelievably light uh, there's no kind of frame around here to like protect you from debris but the lens is so big and there's so much coverage you really don't need it and there's like no obstruction it's just it's a phenomenal phenomenal frame. yeah sometimes the frameless is pretty pretty nice because there's nothing blocking your vision yeah it's kind of cool um, so then we're gonna jump into the Bole B rock which uh, it's pretty gnarly looking. Look at these things. I know, they're very aggressive, but unbelievable coverage, right? Yeah. Like, super light, doesn't feel like it would move at all. Not too much it's got some grabbing your temple. You need it. I mean, yeah. those are pretty, uh, that color is really sick too. I really like those. Um, and I believe, let me check them out again. 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, adjustable nose pads, which is really, really cool. And then adjustable temples as well. So you can really dial in the fit on these all day long rides. Such a, such a difference. And then a little tiny bit of padding right here as well. So that frame, if it does make a connection, is just a little bit more comfortable. So that's a great, great one. I think we're gonna jump into Roka. So Roka started off in the triathlon world making wetsuits of all things yeah. and got into glasses and are making really rad glasses. Their frame quality and the lightness and the durability I've been really, really impressed with. Um, this is called the Torino from Roka. And what I love about that one, again, is that you can wear it off the bike. Yeah, I think they're they're one of my favorites, maybe my favorite for the styling. Yeah. Because you got this sport glass that's just so cool. Yeah. They have a variety you of different You got a little looks. big Lebowski aviator exactly, going on. Right? They, they're, they kind of make a statement. So that's the, yeah. that's the Torino, and I'm a big fan of that one. Um, the new one here, this one I don't even think is out yet. Um, this is called the CP1 Complete Protection. And the idea here is that it has full, full, full coverage. Uh, and this is a prototype, and this is not even out yet. Um, we we would usually not recommend such a dark silver mirrored lens. You can get this more in, the, in a uh, fusion, and they even have one called Ion, more of a mountain bike specific lens. So minus that for this specific colorway pick, uh, I'm kind of loving these things. They just look very retro. Yeah, but like a, like new retro. I almost. can see myself it's, perfectly. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty rad. Put those on. That frame color is really cool too. Might be a little aggressive for me. Yeah, yeah, you're a little more cash. <laughs> but that's a great frame. Great coverage. Uh, Roka also uses this material called Gecko. It's patented. That's the rubber material. Oh, yeah. They don't come off. Those, like, I don't care what you're doing. Those glasses do not come off. Like, you they might stay need your girlfriend place. to pull them off yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, right? they just they stay in place. Uh, let's jump over to Smith. So this is a new one from Smith. This is called the Tempo. What I love about the Tempo is that it's very, very RXable, so you can get a prescription in it. It's got the rubber where you need it to, and this has the Chroma Pop lens technology. I think those actually fit you really well. Yeah, they're great. They're super comfy. I like that tortoise frame. The color tortoise too. is killer. That's yeah. something you don't often see in uh, the sport glasses. Yeah, it's so more of a dress cool. thing. It's kind of getting that whole style and function kind of playing well together. And the half frame makes it so you never, you can't even feel where the glasses end, which yeah. is quite nice. You know, and that's got the lighter chroma pop lens in it, that's which great. is what you want. I mean, we did that video on what to look for, but a quick preview to that video is. Uh, more contrast is better for mountain biking glasses. Yeah. More pop, less stop. Exactly, yeah. for those in and out of the shadow yeah. moments. Why don't we just stick with Smith here? So you try this one, because that's okay. the Attack, and I'll try the Attack Max. We're calling this one, one favorite, because it's just a different size. Right. This is the bigger one. Um, super lightweight. Yeah, really? performance-wise, this is must be insane. I haven't yeah. tried this one, but wow. Yeah, it's not the, you know, you're not gonna wear these at the beach hanging out you might. so much. You might. I might. <laughs> you might not. <laughs> I might not. I'll be wearing my Cazoles oh, at, those the, are at the beach. Um, but, but, wow. but if you're looking for performance, I mean, this is it. And then really cool feature with these, check this out. Close the temple, push this. Interchangeable with magnets, and so when you want to get it back on, it just goes oh, right back lenses. on. Yeah, so um, they're going to come oh, with two sets great. of lenses a lighter lens and a darker lens. In this set, I would think the darker lens would be a great, like, road bike lens, um, um, but then the lighter lens is really, really good for trails, a lot yeah. of contrast. And Chroma Pop actually has a uh, contrast enhancing technology, which really helps you see the shadows and um, sections. It's really nice to see all the divots and everything. So, been loving those. Where are we now? We kind of jumped yes, that way. We're done, Smith. Oh, uh, these are yours. Those are mine. These are your POC Duflos with a prescription in them. By the way, we do these in prescription at Sport RX. These are great. The yeah. coverage is awesome. They got a cool look. They're, they're really fun looking. Yeah, they're fun, but they're not crazy. Yeah. Right? So, but they're... Yeah, I was really happy when I got these. They, they work fantastic. And I have a little reader at the bottom so I can look at my watch because otherwise I can't see it. And it's low enough that it's out of play. I don't even notice it when I'm riding. So yeah, it's great. those are Sporter X custom lenses. They are Sporter X. It's wow. hard to say the name, the do flow, but. Do flow. <laughs> don't you do flow? I do flow. See, if you say it like I do flow. I do flow. You do flow. <laughs> uh, 
Let's see, we are up to 100%. That is the new S2. That is the pair that Sagan won Perry Roubaix, 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 Roubaix. I say that wrong, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, we actually did a video with him, with those glasses. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We got to meet him at the 100% offices. That frame is rad. It's probably a little much for for you. Well, there's something about it that it's so aggressive and fun that I, I actually don't mind it. It's at almost all. like it knows itself. Like oh, it's, it's a it's, goggle. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's an open face helmet goggle. Yeah. Um, you know. Let me show you a couple of really cool features. So they did this etching on the bottom which makes it almost look like, like a there's a frame, frame but oh. it is still not a frame. It's, it's rimless. So it is rimless. And then you get the little vent, but that etching kind of, it's really like kind of pops. It's kind of loud. We picked a really fun color, um, but really, really nice lenses. Uh, they're coming out with more and more uh, uh, hyper lenses. So this is the hyper lens, uh, which is going to be their more high contrast enhancing, kind of like the prism and the chroma pop, those newer lenses that give you really good contrast. This lens I think would be an awesome some mountain bike lens too because it's kind of a rose it really brightens things up but these are just like feels like it grips super, your head i feel like i'm gonna land everything if i'm wearing these like <laughs> or you kind of have to if yeah, you're wearing okay. these you kind of have to it's a statement yeah yeah does so, this one come with two different nose pieces i think it does i'm pretty sure it so does. so that's nice because I'm then you sure can if you have a smaller nose like me yeah you can put that piece on and make them customized for your little Pinhead. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then uh, Tafosi is another really good brand. Tafosi has been on the market quite a while now and their whole idea is value, value, value. Um, you're getting like all the money that you spend goes right into the product. They're not really, they don't sponsor athletes really. They just really are value oriented brand. Um, this one is the Davos and it's kind of more of that shield, has a lot of protection, vented. Uh, this is a transition lens and then there's another, put those on. I actually yeah. thought they fit you pretty well. This is a, it's a gla like a style that I wouldn't normally go for, but they fit so well and the adjustability and the photochromatic lens, yeah. it, I, I want to try these because they just feel like you're really Normally a glass like this doesn't have a full frame. This one is fits so well you can't even see the frame. Yeah, right. yeah, it's a great one. Um, and then this is the Camrock, I believe. Yes, this is yeah. the Camrock. And this is a great RX option. And this is probably a little bit on the smaller side. So if you don't have, like for me, they would be too small. And I think, and you don't have a very big head. They're almost too Even small for me, I, I, I feel like they, they could have a little more coverage. So I yeah. think this would probably be a good glass for a lady. Yeah, youth or lady yeah. would probably be a good one. And yeah. really good value on the uh, Tafosi as well. They feel nice on though, very nice. Yeah. Um, we're getting kind of close to the end. We just do one more here and then we'll, because those are our glasses actually. Uh, this is a Riders and this is called the Seventh. And this actually is kind of a cool technology. Usually we don't recommend polarized lenses for mountain biking, but this is called a Velo Polar and it's actually not 100% polarized. It's, it's like less polarization. So you're trying to get the benefits of the protection, but you're not getting the, the negative of the depth perception issues. Right. So um, to be honest, I haven't tested it out on heavy trail use yet. I have. You have, yeah. and? They're great. They, they, the lens is good, they're comfortable. They did the polarized bother you at all? Or no, did I didn't even notice. So no. that's that's the idea is where you get the benefits yeah. but you don't get the negatives. And they have a they have an adjustable nose. You can kind of pinch yeah. it and tilt it a little bit. It's you just get it into the spot you want and it lives there. So that made it quite nice. So they're, they're I do great. like the lens color a lot. That deep rose is pretty yeah. cool. Very nice to wear. Nice. Okay, I think we're on to the last ones here, which is Nike. Nike has a, a, the Bandit, which is the big boy. And yeah. those are mine. These are with my prescription, with my SportRx photochromatic lenses. And then uh, Richie's got the Fleet, which is the same exact pair of glasses. They're just, I think, about 20% smaller. Right. And yours also has a really cool photochromatic lens. And you have a kind of a little hidden secret bifocal at the bottom. The idea is that it's small enough that it's out of your way yeah. that you're not getting bothered when you're like descending, exactly. but it's big enough where you could see your phone or a map or totally. tip somebody the right amount of money. My favorite story ever is somebody finally got a bifocal because he tipped a valet guy a hundred bucks instead of ten, and you can't you can't go back and be like he went to his wallet and was like, where'd my hundred go? Why do I have an extra? Oh. So then finally got bifocals. But there's some of you guys out there that probably are gonna understand this. But these these um, uh, fit great and back to our um, style con conversation. Yeah. 
I feel like these are pretty cool too. Yeah. They, they don't they don't look too aggressive. They're just very nice. Yeah, and when they're uh, when you're in the sun, the lenses would get darker, so they yeah. would kind of maybe look more like this, where you can see they just look like just cool shades, yeah. but they work really well. They have a really cool let's just put those there a uh, nose grip area it's also vented in the nose to let more airflow yeah. uh, the temples are super comfortable really grippy a little bit soft and then a uh, really cool little did you even notice that the frame is vented did you ever see that inside did, the frame yeah. at the top there's yeah. these little tiny micro vents which is really nice for fogging so nike really thought about these and um, they're also really good for people with high prescriptions because they're a little bit flatter we can do like 98% of prescriptions in this frame and it comes out really well. So cool. that Bandit is a really good choice. I feel like that was a long video. We went over a lot of really cool frames here. We killed it. Wow. So if you're looking for some new mountain bike glasses, there's some great choices here. There's also a lot of other really good options that we couldn't get to everything. Probably this video was already too long. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section. You can email info at sportrx.com. We also have opticians here on the phone seven days a week that know a lot about these glasses that can help you pick out the right one if you need them in prescription or non-prescription. The opticians are really happy to help you. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel and check out Richie's channel too. Richie is a SportRx sponsored athlete. He's got a lot of really cool sunglasses and he's doing reviews on his channel and also um, just really cool mountain bike videos as well. So uh, check out Richie's channel, it's pretty dope. Uh, and there'll be description, comment, something. You'll find the link. All right, <laughs> later.